Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's election day, or as far as I know, just hours away from the results of basically who will be our new president. And I have my I have my uh, candidate that I'm voting for and I hope you all got out and voted today. Whether or not our candidate gets in office, everything's going to be okay. It might be tough for a little bit, four years to be exact, if the wrong candidate gets in office. I was going to make this a, uh, a live stream, but for whatever reason, my live streaming, uh, software didn't want to work for, and so we're just hours away from the results. I've been watching the polls on TV and it's not looking promising. Um, but it's gonna be a tight one. And Nebraska was like neck and neck with between Kamala and uh, Trump, or was it was it Nebraska? No, I think Kamala won Nebraska. Do you think? Do you think America really cares more about abortion than they do about low low prices and you know uh people being able to live a life like basically just in a fair amount of comfort. I mean, I think if Kamala gets in, a lot of people are going to be living paycheck to paycheck because Kamala said they're going to, she's going to raise taxes. Where Trump says if he gets in, it's going to be the biggest tax cut in the history of our nation. He also said he's going to enforce a law or a policy called No Tax on Tips, which is pretty much just what it sounds like. No Tax on Tips, mean, meaning you don't tax the tips that people get. I could see this helping the economy hugely. 
Also, Trump has some clear policies and uh, uh, goals. Harris doesn't have the clear policies and goals. The only real thing that Harris has going for her is the uh, abortion thing. And she said that she's going to give so much money. I think she said $25,000 to first-time home buyers. Okay, where's that money going to come from? You can't just keep printing money out of thin air. I mean, money doesn't grow on trees. Sure, money comes from trees. Like, after the trees are cut up and made into paper. But... Money doesn't grow on trees. I know that if either candidate gets in, God is in control. Whatever God wants will happen. Um, um, so, uh, keep your head tight, um, I guess we'll have to see what the outcome is, we only have a few more hours left. Um, and now we play the waiting game. I, like I said, I was watching the polls and in one of the states, Kamala and Trump were neck and neck. They got 50, Kamala got 50% and Trump got 50%. And, uh, the abortion thing seems to be a hot button issue for a lot of people. But a lot of people were saying that they were not uh, satisfied with the Supreme Court. And a lot of people said they were concerned about the price of groceries. Uh -oh the price of gas, the price of, uh, yeah, well, that pretty much covers that. Um, and a lot of people were concerned about the state of the economy. That, that, I don't want to say that was a big one, but, you know, that was one of them that got uh, a lot of people's attention. So, 
whoever your candidate is, whether you're on Team Kamala or whether you're on Team Trump, God is in control, so do not, basically don't fear your life is in God's hands, not, not man's hands, and whatever God wants is going to happen. And with that being said, I may the Lord bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And that is Numbers chapter 6. 24 to 26 and, um I will see you in the next video